What is up family? It's your girl Zai and I'm back with another video. In this segment, I'll be showing you how to move your mods and CC over to an external hard drive. I'll also be answering some of your most asked questions and walking you through step by step. And oh yeah, don't forget to check out my previous video. I show you how to move the EA app over to your external hard drive. I'll leave a link in the description down below. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Dag dag for now. Go to Link Shell Extension if you haven't already downloaded it. Um, even if you have, just just follow the video. I just delete the other one if it's not working. If you if something is not working since you've downloaded, go ahead and go to uh, this website. I'll link it down below as well, and click on download. Scroll down, and you want to click on this one right here this one i was trying to highlight it for you click on this one link shell extension 3.76 megabytes um and then download it when you click it you should see somewhere for it to download and you want to go ahead and open it up download it to your computer download it to the c drive i've had some questions what which drive do i download it to just download it to your c drive it'll make it a lot easier so once you have that downloaded, you want to go and open up your documents folder, click on documents in your electronic arts folder should be here. And you want to go ahead and open up another screen with your external hard drive, whatever your external hard drive, uh, whatever the name is, make sure it's plugged in and go to that hard drive. Okay. The next thing you want to do you want to right click on your EA folder, copy and paste that folder as a backup to your external hard drive. So you want to right click, copy, and you wanna go ahead and paste that over here. This is gonna be your backup folder. So this, you won't really do anything with this folder. This is just in case something goes wrong while you are trying to do the process. That way you won't lose any of your saves. You won't lose any of your um, mods, things of that sort. It may take a little time for you to do it depending on how much you have in your folder, but this is the process. So after you've downloaded your backup folder, you want to right click on your electronics folder again, copy, and then you wanna paste it to your external hard drive again. So the one that does not say backup folder is the one that we are going to be using. Okay, so I hope you all have followed along that far. Okay, so after you have done these steps, go into your electronic arts folder again, go ahead and delete the Sims 4. Click on it and delete it. Don't be afraid to. We've already backed up the electronic arts folder here and we've copied and pasted again twice. So that's why I tell you all in the very beginning, please back up your electronic arts folder. So the next step you want to do is go into your electronic arts folder on your external hard drive. Double click it. You should see the Sims 4. So if you've downloaded the link shell extension correctly, you would click on your Sims 4 folder, right click, click pick link source. Okay. If you don't see this, you probably downloaded it wrong because if you download it the way I just told you to, this should work. So go ahead and click pick link source. You want to right click in the documents folder over here and you want to hoover over drop as click junction and there you go it's really really simple um, I've had some questions about the TSR manager as well if you have that you can do the same steps as well to copy and to move it to your external hard drive um, so it's a really simple step that is what I am currently that is how my folders are currently set up in my game plays perfectly 
Moving on to the Q&A part of this video, I'm going to answer some questions that I've gotten in regards to moving your CC and mods folder over to an external hard drive. If for any reason you don't see your question answered here, comment down below, let me know what question you have. I'm more than happy to make a second video with some of you all's questions. I'll also leave chapters in the video as well for you to go directly to the answer that you need. I hope you enjoy. Okay, how to update your Sims 4 game. So open up the EA app. Go ahead and go to the three lines at the very top in the left corner. You wanna click on settings. Then you wanna go to download. First thing you wanna do is make sure that update games automatically is turned off as well as enable background downloads as well. I turn both of those off because I like to update my game manually. The next thing you want to do is go into your external hard drive. I'm going to pull it over here. Go into your external hard drive, wherever you have your, um, wherever you want to save your mods folder to. Um, I'm going to pull up two folders here. Pull up my documents folder. Actually, you could just pull up one folder, actually. Take that back. So you could pull up one folder here. Go into your saved electronic arts folder, the one that you use um, to sync to your documents folder. Open that. Then you want to open the Sims 4 folder. You want to click on mods. You want to copy. And then paste it onto your external hard drive. You can paste that anywhere. Um, and then you can name that folder, anything you want to name it, or you could just leave it as mods. So the reason that we do this is because we, when we update our game, we don't want it to update with our mods in there. Um, but we want it to save our settings within the game. So you just take your mods folder out, copy and paste it to a different location. Uh, typically within the EA app, you will get the option. It will tell you there is a new update available. Go ahead and update it. And then once you update it, typically before I add the mods back into my electronic arts folder on my external hard drive, I will go ahead and go to uh, the major mods that I have. You typically is going to be mods that will affect your game if they're outdated. So for instance, if I have Wicked Whims, I will go to the Wicked Whims website, see if they've released a new download. And at that time, I will go ahead and up, up um, I'm sorry, I will go ahead and update any outdated mods that I have before I put them back into my game. Now you might not catch everything, but I, after I put them back into my game, you'll do the same process. So you'll go here, take your, uh, copy, you can copy and paste your mods folder, or you can cut it and paste it. And then you want to put it back into your Sims 4 folder before you open the game. Um, typically when you open the game as well, sometimes it'll let you know, it'll give you last exceptions, like things that you may have missed as far as mods that are still outdated. Um, you may see some CC as well that is outdated. If you see anything you just, and you need to take it out, you just come into here and then you can delete it, delete whatever mod is outdated and you can add it as well. Any CC that you have, you can delete it as well from this folder on your external hard drive. Okay, so some of you all had questions about your electronic arts folder in the C drive. What if I don't have an electronic arts folder in my C drive? Guys, you probably need to go go into your folders and figure out where The Sims is downloading your electronic arts folder. It should automatically go to the documents folder. This is where my folder is. If it's not downloading there, then <clears throat> I don't know 
what could be happening. It could have something to do with OneDrive. Check and see if it's downloading to your OneDrive. I disabled my OneDrive because um, I wanted to save directly to my um, documents folder. But I don't really have an answer for that one. Just go into your computer and see where your electronic arts folder is downloading. Okay, next question. Someone asked me if they bought a new PC, do the same steps still apply uh, regarding moving your mods and CC over to an external hard drive? Yes, the same steps still apply. You can do this on any PC. You just need a computer and a hard drive and the proper steps in order to do it. But you can do it on any PC. I've had questions about is this process the same for the Mac? I do not have a Mac computer, guys. I haven't been able to get a hold of one, and I really don't want to spend that type of money on a Mac computer. So I haven't been able to uh, record a video with the Mac computer. Um, I know that Mac users are still able to use the Origin version instead of the EA app if they want to, but I don't have any information on that for mac users but yes if you have a pc you purchased a new one the same steps do apply next question that i got fairly often is can i use a flash drive or something other than a, an external hard drive like an sd card yes you can you can use a flash drive you can use an sd card i recommend using an external hard drive one terabyte or two terabyte because i just think that is more efficient I um, have tried to use a flash drive SD card, but it just don't have the space that I need because I do use my hard drive for other things as well. Like when I'm editing videos, saving large amounts of photos, things like that, you can use it for multiple purposes, which is why I just went ahead and spent the money on a hard drive because it has multiple uses, um, you know, compared to a flash drive it run out of space, space really quickly. And for me as a content creator, I really need a hard drive. But if you're someone who just specifically need it for the Sims 4 game and you don't plan on using it for anything else, maybe a flash drive or SD card will work for you. Um, it's, it really comes down to preference. I just prefer a hard drive. Okay, this is another question that I've gotten fairly often. Will the process of moving my mods in CC folder over to an external hard drive help my game run smoother? Will it help with lagging? Now, the reason that I showed you all how to move your CC mods folder over to an external hard drive is because I was running out of space. A lot of you all had the same issue. You like to download a lot of CC, a lot of mods, but on your C drive, you just don't have the storage space to do it. That is the main reason why I show you all why, how to do that, because you want to save space. As far as lagging and your game running smoother, there are some things you can do to keep your game from lagging as much and to help it run smoother. You can do one of two things. You can purchase a new computer that is able to run the, the Sims 4 game uh, software, you can purchase a upgraded computer that has a, a better processor. It just helps the game run smoother overall. Or you can go into your game settings and change um, the quality of it, the resolution. Um, if you've got it on high performance, maybe you want to take it down to medium, just play around with the settings to see what is, what works for your computer. Cause everybody computer is different. I have a desktop computer. Some people are playing on a laptop. Your laptop may have a different processor than my desktop. So it really just depends. I go into my game settings and I've adjusted it to a point where my game does run a little bit smoother than it would have if I had it on like ultra high um, because I know my computer can't take all of that so yeah try that comment down below uh, if you try to adjust the settings and you got it to work for you as far as helping your game run smoother and helping with lagging 
Okay, I received another question. This question was, what's the point of clearing up storage on my C drive if my game still lags? This question ties into the previous question I just answered. This process was not created for to help with lagging in your game. This simply was created for to help you be able to download more CC, more mods without running out of storage on your PC. Now, moving into an external hard drive, overall, um, it does help your computer run better. But as far as lagging, I saw a big difference once I actually went into the game settings and adjusted it to the resolution I needed for my PC. Every time I load a save, my game crashes. What do I do now? If every time you load a save and your game crashes, more than likely you have an outdated mod. I don't know how many times I've opened my game and it just crashes because I had an outdated mod and I didn't realize it. Or the Sims recently, maybe they recently sent out an update and I'm playing my game and then it just crashed out of nowhere. Make sure that your mods or are updated. Make sure they are updated because if they are not, your game will crash and it will start to act funny. Also, keep the uh keep your mods folders, your mods CC folders in check as far as um, making sure you don't have duplicates, making sure that you don't have outdated um CC things like that because that causes your game to run slow as well. Um, so make sure you keep you're keeping your mods folder in order. I do have a video on that as well. If you like to, um, if you like to see how I organize my folders, um, that way I can keep track of my mods and CC. I'll leave that. Uh, I'll link that video down below, and you can click on it here as well. How do I add CC to my new external hard drive? So guys. In order to add CC to your external hard, external hard drive, I'm going to show you. You'll just go into your documents folder. As always, you should see a mods folder. I'm actually, I took out my um, Sims folder, but I'm going to really quickly place that back in here. Right click. Pick link source, drop as junction. Okay, so I'll go into my Sims folder, go into my mods folder, and I'll just download it here. That's all you have to do. Um, when you download it to your documents folder, it will automatically save to your folder on your external hard drive. It's the same folder. Okay, my pick link source option is not showing up when I right click. What do I do now? If you're, if when you go into your folder, I'm going to pull up my external hard drive again. If when you go into this folder, if whatever folder you're going into, if you don't see this pink pick link source, then you downloaded the link shell extension incorrectly. I would advise you to go to the beginning of your, the beginning of this video and watch how to download the link shell extension and then try it again. And let me know in the comment below if you had an issue with that and if you were able to get it resolved. Same thing with this question. If you cannot locate the junction link, if it's not coming up for you, you probably downloaded the link wrong. Like I said in the previous um, question, Redownload the link shell extension. Make sure you download it correctly and then try it again. Comment down below and let me know if after you redownloaded it, redownloaded it, <laughs> if it worked for you. Another question that I've gotten a lot of is I've used the junction link to move my mods over. But when I open my game, they're still not showing up. Let me show you all something. When I open up my um, external hard drive, 
my mods are here. Your mods shall be here. When you do the junction on in your documents folder for your electronic arts folder, your mods should be there. If they are not showing up in your game, you could not have linked it correctly. The other thing that you want to check and make sure that the script mods are enabled within the game. So you'll need to open your game, make sure that the script mods option is turned on. If you've done that and you still don't see your mods pop up, you've probably linked the mod folder incorrectly and you will need to go back and watch the portion of the video where I show you how to properly um, link your mods and CC folder from your external hard drive to the documents folder. Okay, another question I got. When I go to downloads in origin slash EA app, for those of you who can't can no longer use origin, it tells me to download my game again. What now? I've had a lot of confusion about this. Um, people were confused as to why the um, why origin was asking them to download when you go through this process the application is going to verify those files so i will leave just a short video just showing you what to expect um just let it download you've already you already have the games and expansion packs in the folder so all it needs to do is verify those files um so just be patient let it download give it some time when it's done you should be able to play that is it for this video ladies and gents i've shown you how to move your mods and cc folder over to an external hard drive along with answering some of your most asked questions i hope this video was informational don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when i release new videos want to learn a better way to organize your mods folder for the sims 4 click the next video you know you want to dag dag for now